Hi everyone and welcome to today's quick fix. Today we're going to be looking at more petal painting but today it's all about how to get a beautiful colour blend petal just like this incredible anemone here. So whilst I just pluck a petal from the anemone and oh say thank you very much here we go. So there's our petal really beautiful that smooth blend just crying out to be painted in watercolour. Um, if you haven't already watched my first how to paint perfect petals um, just looking at a single colour, I highly recommend you go and have a look at that one first. Now, uh, for the sake of being able to see things clearly, I'm going to use blue and pink for my two colour petals. Now, I'm going to paint a very dilute blue colour and I'm going to use the tip of this size 8 brush and I'm going to paint my petal in a few brush strokes and just as I explained in the other tutorial that you can pick up a little bit of that excess colour if you need. Now putting in your second colour it's all about making sure that that first petal went down with a nice smooth amount of colour and water and it didn't pool on the page because now I'm going to just dab that colour at the top. And that was a single brush stroke and it flooded down in a really nice even way. If I wanted to do a little bit more I could just pulse the brush a few more times but what we don't want to do is to be trying to push that colour down in a, in a way that the watercolour doesn't want to do. So let me explain what the sort of pitfalls are. First off let's get a really really wet petal. So the amount of water in your petals is so important. So if there's too much like this here. So I'm going back in. You know at the moment it looks like a nice blend on the page. It's all good. But if you look from the side you can see the standing water on the page there compared to that one where it's seeped in. So if I now try to put my colour in, it's going to go down which is all very well but it's soon going to start to do very strange things. It doesn't want to go much further because there's so much water just sitting on the page and it's not going to just th spread down of its own accord and therefore what the painter might try and do is sort of go, oh come on I'm going to push you down, oh no now we've got a weird like purple colour and because there's a pool of water there, it just doesn't want to go unless I really push it and then you start getting a funny kind of stripe you don't get a beautiful blend like that. The second way that we can sort of slip up when painting petals is the actual sort of amount of paint itself so we've looked at too much water but what about too much paint so this is when our brush is dry so let's blot our brush off and let's just pick up paint straight from the palette. Well the first problem is is no colour is going to show up on that. So first off you must make sure that your colour is nice and dilute because yeah we can't see anything there. Okay and then the other trouble is even if we've managed to sort of get a bit less colour on our brushes but it's still quite dry get even less on there. Okay. I'm really sort of forcing it down. This is not really very watercolour is it? But it's so dry that it's dry brushing on the page and there's not enough moisture there. And then also if my pink has been really dry as well then hardly anything is going to happen. So I'm really trying to force it down there and of course we've now got a weird purple, we've not got this, it's amazing to think that those colours are the same as these and these and these. So to reiterate you want to make sure that your 
petal colour, the main colour of the petal is really nice and dilute and it goes on with just a, a, a measured and minimal amount of water and if you're wondering about how to get the right amount of water on your page go back and look at episode one of the watercolour quick fixes and that will sort that out for you and then with your second colour it needs to be equally wet but not soaking soaking wet and you just pop it in at the top and dab it once or twice to pulse it down but you really don't need to play around with it any more than that. And that is your perfect petal part two watercolour quick fix.